Drivers pumping the brakes on Richmond County school buses. They say two of them caught fire a few months ago and the fleet is not safe. News Channel 6's Jenna Kelly at the school board meeting tonight and she's live in our newsroom. Jenna. That's right, Brad. The school board says it has corrected these maintenance issues, but the drivers and counsel for the transportation department are coming forward. They say it's been an ongoing problem dating back to 2005. Richmond County has got a bad reputation of not keeping their drivers and not treating their drivers well. Sally Thomas is one of many drivers who say the school board is taking the wrong turn when it comes to school bus maintenance. She says they were on the right track in 2005. When the uh, bus drivers took the Board of Education to court. Thomas says that court case led to the creation of a council for the transportation department. The council's job was to oversee maintenance, but the council only lasted a few years. And drivers say since then the issues have accelerated. Their complaints included odors and fumes coming from the bus terminal. We've had the Department of Public Health come out. Um, they've done testing. There's, there's no odors, there's no issues down here. The Georgia Department of Public Health checked things out and issued this statement. Inspectors say they didn't smell the odor, but it could be from a nearby swamp. But that's just the first stop. I have three kids in Richmond County School and two that ride the buses. Timothy Howard says he's worried about the temperature on his children's buses. If we have a bus that is carrying 60 children, and there are no air conditioning in that bus, that's a health issue. I think a lot of people would be surprised by this, but air conditioning is a luxury. It's not required by the state of Georgia. Thomas says she and her fellow drivers just want better working conditions. Better treatment, one, better pay. We're one of the lowest paid uh, drivers in, in the state. But Director of Communications Kaden Jacobs says they make more than they've ever made. In Richmond County, they get $13 an hour for a guaranteed seven and a half hours. We're doing everything we can to make sure that our, our buses are high tech, they're efficient, and that we keep our students safe because that's really our ultimate goal. This afternoon, Sally gave a petition to the school board with more than 100 signatures to bring back the council for the Department of Transportation. Jacob says if they see a need, they would, but as of right now, everything has been up to standards. 